Hey, what's up guys? This is The Average Drummer. I'm back with another cooking time. It's been a long time, like a month and a half. This is my sister, Amanda. Ew. Hi, sister. She's visiting before she goes to Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Rhode Island. I just pause and think about that one. She's gonna go work on an organic farm. Sure am. Fancy thing. So for all you fancy people out there who like organic things, it's like a 1% chance she may have watched your food grow. <laughs> <laughs> so today, we're gonna make waffles. Don't know if I've done this before, I didn't really look. So we're gonna make waffles, Mickey Mouse shaped waffles, using a recipe that I've made in the past. It's the pancake recipe from the pancakes and eggs and stuff episode. I'll put a link to that down below. So we'll just kind of run over it really quick. I'm not gonna like go into depth. Currently, we're also going to make strawberry syrup, which Faith is actually in the process of cutting strawberries for this already. Hi. Say hi, Faith. Hi. This is my wife, Faith. They know I'm your wife. Yeah, so she's cutting <laughs> strawberries for that. We're gonna make some waffles, strawberry syrup, syrup, some eggs, some stuff. We're just gonna make breakfast again. I don't know. It's not gonna be different than what I've probably done in the past, but you're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna like it. So Faith is currently cutting strawberries for our strawberry syrup. The way I make strawberry syrup, cut up a whole freaking bunch of strawberries, throw them in a pot, cook them down for a long time, and then we blend them with an immersion blender. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Of course we use a power tool. <laughs> Why would I not use a power tool? Some people do like the straining thing. They like put it through like a strainer and they like try to smash it through and get like no pulpies and stuff. I'm like, forget that. Power tool. Power tools saves time, energy, and money. I don't know about money. At least time and energy. What do we need then? What do we need? What do we need then? What do we need? We need flour and things. Okay, where do I find things? Okay, so up there is most of our ingredients. So we need flour. This one. We need sugar. The next big one also on the left. One. <laughs> we need uh, baking powder and baking soda, which I think are in a bin. In the yellow, yellow bin. bin on the top. Oops. That one. I think. It's a little Could dicey. Be wrong. Really Am I right? No, it's powdered powder sugar. sugar. Baking yeah, soda. baking soda baking and baking yeah, powder. Yeah, found them. Here. Nailed it. Wow. We need vanilla. Vanilla. And uh, salt. Salty, salty. The salty, salty. The salty, salty. <laughs> and I think that's it. And we need, in that cabinet to your right, I need vinegar. And then we need milk. Wow. It's in the fridge somewhere. We, you see how often we use milk. It's kind of buried. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Milk. About the sweet tea. And then <clears throat> eggs. We need eggs. All right, we got all of our stuff for pancakes and stuff. Before we make the pancakes though, we're gonna start the, the strawberries on the stove. Put your strawberries on the stove at a medium high heat. Just let them start cooking. They need to cook for like 20 minutes. A long time. They need to get very, very mushy. Very mushy. And juicy and mushy. So we're using pancake batter to make our waffles because that's what I know how to make. Two bowls, medium bowl and small bowl. Two bowls. Two bowls, medium bowl and small bowl. Sure. Two bowls. In two bowls about this size. This size. We're gonna create buttermilk. So we need two cups of milk. But wow, that'll that's be good. Very much two cups of milk. Oh, that's a lot more milk than I thought. That's two cups. <laughs> no one will know. No one will. Two cups of milk. <laughs> I thought you've made this before. I have. So then, for every cup of milk, you need one tablespoon of vinegar. So, drink some more milk, Ben. One, <laughs> two. So, put some vinegar in your milk, stir it around, and let it sit for about five minutes. And to your one medium bowl, you're going to add flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. And whisk all your dry ingredients together. So we're using a half a cup because we already used our full cup for the milk. So, two cups of flour into the bowl. One half, two halves, three halves, four halves. What does four halves equal, children? It equals two whole cups. To our waffle mixture, we're gonna need two tablespoons of sugar. Kabayam, kabayam. For our baking powder and baking soda, we need a teaspoon. We need a teaspoon. Teaspoon. A tisp. Where do our measuring things go? Right there. We need a tisp of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda. 
and then a sprinkling of salt. Some people say like a quarter teaspoon. I call it a pinch. Yeah, a pinch, like that much right, right there. Just kind of fancy. Now we're gonna take a whisk. A whisk. Whisk. We're gonna whisk it all together in the, into the bowl. Whisk it up. Whisk it up. Whisk it up. Whisk it good. How does your whisk match your bowl? That's amazing. I don't know, we didn't do it on purpose. I just yeah. bought a green whisk because I was like, I want a green one. Now, set that to the side. In our other bowl, we're going to crack two eggs. I think two eggs. Yeah, two eggs. Okay, now that I have space on my phone again, I don't know if I actually missed some stuff or not. So, whisk your egg. Two eggs into a bowl and whisk it. Now to your egg, you're going to add your buttermilk and your vanilla. It's a lot of buttermilk, so Ooh, dump it in there. so chunky. So it'll be a little chunky, that's mm. a good thing. That's why you added the vinegar to it. Buttermilk and what else? And vanilla. And vanilla, how much? Yeah, Some? teaspoon teaspoonish. <laughs> that much, that much <laughs> vanilla right there. This is science that this we're is, doing here. We are scientists when it comes to food. <laughs> food science. Food science. We're going to now mix together I almost choked on my own saliva. <coughs> I'm okay. We're gonna mix together our wet and our dry ingredients into one bowl and make it a batter. So you take your wet, slowly pour it into the dry as you whisk. There you go. Then you just kind of incorporate all that there together, eh? I don't know why I became Canadian. And you whisk all that together until it's a nice smooth batter. All right, so Faith is over here cracking some eggs. Look at how pretty it is. Look at all them. She's gonna turn on them into scrambled eggs to go with our breakfast. She's also over here making our jam. Let's check on our jam. So here's what your jam should kind of look like. It's just been sitting on the stove. It's been cooking, it's kind of mushy. In a little bit, we're going to take an immersion blender and that really smooth it out. But before we do that, Amanda. What are we doing? We're gonna make some waffles. Yes. So over here is our famous, popular, and awesome Mickey Mouse waffle maker. Look, it makes Mickey Mouse's face. Got it on Amazon. I'll put a link down below if you want it. So we're just gonna plug it in, plug it, plug it in. See, there's a little light down there with the Mickey Mouse head on it. Tells me when it's ready. It turn green. Neat. Yeah, That's it's cool. a feature. That's what you call a feature. Right there, that's a feature. Sugar. Butter. butter. I forgot the butter. I forgot butter, y'all. So, so we gotta butter. add one more thing to our freaking thing. So, so take butter. two to three tablespoons of butter, melt it in a microwave, <laughs> and dump it into your batter too. Oh, really? Forgot about it, my bad. Okay, so dump your melted butter into the pancake waffle mix and stir it around. Normally you would put the melted butter in with the wet stuff, but it kind of forgot, so it's going in now. Yay, look, it's like it didn't even happen. Cool. So while that's heating, we're gonna use our immersion blender on our syrup and turn it into smooth syrup. Where's our immersion blender? So for all of you, all of you that do not know, this is an immersion blender. It's got a blade on the end, handheld thing, you hold it and you blend in a pot. It's great, because then you don't have to transfer to a real blender. You just leave it in your uh, container, vessel. I like vessel. You leave it in your vessel, your cooking vessel, and just blend it right there. We're gonna do that. Take your immersion blender. We're just gonna stick it in there on a low speed at first. I'm just gonna blend it all up. It's very blended. So that right there is our strawberry syrup. Yeah, kind of give that a little taste. Mm, it's really good. <laughs> Strawberry syrup, good to go. Dump it on your waffles when they're done. Okay, so our thing is ready. I didn't read the directions. Nobody reads the directions. Open this up. We're gonna give it a little. We're doing this through the camera, so we're gonna totally missed. Good. We're gonna pour some batter in there, Amanda. But you do the honors of pouring some batter. I don't actually know how much to pour in there. Me neither, it's gonna be great. Let's fill up his face. Yeah, that, that looks, looks good. good. That looks like a good amount right there. Fill up his face, close the lid. We're making a Mickey Mouse waffle. Wait until it's cooked, I guess. Okay, it's done, isn't it's it? Ready. It's ready, it's ready, open it. Oh. Look at it's Mickey's face. That looks really good, actually. So that's what your waffles will look like when they're all done. 
Uh, we're just gonna make a bunch more, make a little bit more food. We're gonna make some sausage and stuff. Uh, you don't need to see that. It's just cooking sausage. If you can't do that, you need to not be in the kitchen. But uh, we're gonna cook some more food. I'm gonna plate it pretty, and then you get to see the food porn. That's what everybody's here for. <laughs> As you can see, the food looks amazing. So uh, we're gonna take a quick bite. I think Amanda has already started eating. What do you think? Mm. Good? Oh yeah, the strawberry syrup, you nailed it. Very good, good. I'm gonna take a quick bite here of the pancake and strawberry syrup. Hopefully not get strawberry on myself. All right, here we go. Mmm, that's really good. That turned out really well. Guys, it's Disney magic. That's all it is in the end. It's not my skill, it's not our cooking, it's Disney magic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like this video and leave a comment down below telling me uh, what your favorite part was and what you'd like to see me cook next. Also, subscribe <laughs> to my channel and click the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. It just helps you know and you can watch it first and tell your friends that you're better than they are. So yeah, guys, thank you again so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.